Hey everyone, I'm Joe and welcome back to another day of Another Day Forward, my daily talk on depression, suicide, and mental illness where we work on making it through another day of dealing with these terrible diseases together. So before I get started, I want to apologize for the last couple of videos, I think. They, I accidentally clicked scheduled instead of publish and they ended up not getting published. So everything's back to normal. I've got a video for every day. Um, they just haven't really been pushed on the right days. So that's hopefully, hopefully fixed. And I know what I did wrong and I'm not going to do it again. So back to my, my topic, my, my main point today. And that's, um, what if the people who say, you know, just be happy, or why can't you just be happy, or just don't be sad, or pretty much the whole easy solution to mental illness that doesn't really exist. Um, what if they're right? What if it does exist? And I'll kind of explain what I mean, because I don't believe for a second that we can just make ourselves happy. However, there is a way out of depression, out of the numbness that we feel, out of the, you know, almost nothing but, at least for me, it was, there was a lot of anger, there was a lot of rage. Um, and there's a way to feel happy, but we can't just feel happy. And it's kind of a paradox, if you think about it. Like, you have to be happy in order to, or you have to, like, try to be happy in order to be happy. And it doesn't really work when you are in the, the depths of depression. And the pretty much what, what we have to do is we have to understand that there's something to be happy about. Like we have to rationalize it first before we can even be happy. We can't make ourselves feel happy, obviously. I kind of feel like I'm talking in circles, but ultimately it comes down to this one point, is that we have to understand that there's something to be happy about, that there's something to be joyful about, that there's something to be, um, you know, just positive in general about. There's so many good emotions that if we just anchor to, to one of them, that's kind of our, our lifeline out of this struggle of depression out of these depths that we're in and it's easier said than done obviously there's there's not a really you know surefire way to get out of it but what worked for me at least and hopefully other people will chime in because I want to hear what has helped you and what you think could help others because I'll make a video on it and you know the more information I get the the more we can you know expand this topic but what worked for me is that I rationalized that there were good things in the world. And I kind of latched onto that. And I used it to turn myself around a little bit when I was really deep in, in the swings of depression. And, you know, when I didn't really think that there was any other way out of it, I thought about various positive things. So kind of an example is the innocence of childhood. Um, I always, you know, kind of thought about kids. This is when I was depressed, um, or when I was depressed more regularly, I guess I should say. I, I saw um, kids, even myself as a kid, as like this incompetent kind of um, just existence. And I didn't really think that, at least me, I was like putting a lot of value into the world. But I shifted my mindset a little bit and thought there was so much joy in childhood. There's so much happiness. Everything is this positive outlook. This, you know, everything has positivity to it. And I think it was a lot of that positivity that ended up driving me into depression because, it, you know, I, I was positive and then I ran into this brick wall of, you know, a not that great upbringing. Um, but ultimately what I thought, like, what if that brick wall wasn't there? What if I wasn't restrained? How much positivity could I have actually had? And I focused on that and I tried to bring it to the, the me that I am now. And it really, like I said earlier, helped me to rationalize this, that, that this negativity that I was feeling was all created in my head. It was manifested because of 
the, you know, environment that I lived in. And ultimately, there's nothing that's restricting me from being positive, except for myself believing that I couldn't be positive, because it's just run into such a dead end all the time. And once I rationalized that, and once I realized that, yes, that possibility was out there, it was almost like night and day. I, I realized that I could climb out of this, and I realized that I could be the person that I've always wanted to be. And that's not, the, not to say that depression doesn't still strike me. I still get hit, but it doesn't happen nearly as often, and it doesn't happen nearly as intensely. And I've got so many tools that I've built up in the meantime to be able to actually, you know, drag myself out of it. So ultimately, that's what I want for all of you is to build yourself that toolbox, uh, build yourself that resistance to all the, the negativity and the, the nothingness that is depression and make yourself better because ultimately it comes down to you. The only person who can make yourself better is you. And the only way you can do that is to actually find that positivity. So that's all I've got for today. Like I said, if anyone has any other thoughts on it, on this whole concept, uh, leave a comment and I'll make a video on it. Or, you know, maybe if you completely disagree with me, maybe you think that there's no such thing as positivity. Um, I'd like to hear that too. I'd like to hear any counter arguments. But that's it for me, for me today. And I will see you again tomorrow.